Hey everybody, this is Josh from Twisted Tools. I want to give you a quick tutorial on how to load the Ultraloop expansions and the associated samples into Ultraloop. Uh, first of all, an expansion pack is a pack of WAV files um, and it comes with a map file for Reactor. This map file tells Reactor where these WAV files are and it also comes with a set of expansions and the expansions are in this file called a .ssf file, and that's a reactor snapshot file. Now, the snapshot files are basically presets. You can see this list of presets over here on the left-hand side. These are the factory default presets uh, by Enigmatic um, that come with Ultraloop. Now, we want to load these presets um, from Cybeg into Ultraloop. The way to do that is by clicking on New Bank here, and then choosing to load a bank navigating to the location on your drive where you have the expansion pack uh, snapshot bank that you want to load. Loading those, waiting a minute. And once they're loaded, you've got all these presets inside of Ultraloop. Now the thing is, the presets don't contain the samples themselves, so we need to load the samples into Ultraloop as well. Now the way to do that is simply by clicking on this little uh, icon right here, which opens up the Reactor Sample Map Editor, selecting all the sounds here, removing them, and going to the Samples folder and dragging the map file directly into Ultraloop. Once the samples are loaded, um, you want to come into the Sample Map Editor and you'll see these checkboxes here that say Embed. If you click these, it takes all the files here and it embeds them into the Reactor Ensemble itself so that when you go and you save this file, or rather save as so that you don't mess up the original, uh, when you do that, the file, the Ultraloop file itself is going to contain all the samples. Now, I kind of recommend that so uh, no matter what, wherever you move this ensemble, those samples will go with it. So if you move this ensemble to another drive or another computer, you're taking the samples uh, with it, but if you know you're going to leave your samples in one place on your drive and nothing's going to change on your system, uh, then you could leave this, these checkboxes um, off so that you're not actually eating up space every time you save this ensemble. So uh, in either case, you're going to want to save your ensemble as so you don't overwrite the original because uh, Reactor can only store one sample map at a time. So if I were to accidentally save over this ensemble, I would be saving over the original factory ensemble and all the samples. So you're going to want to keep a couple different versions of these probably um, for each of the different loop expansions. Um, anyways, be sure to check out our, our website. Uh, we have three loop expansions right now on offer. There's the Cybeg loop expansion, a Chris Carter loop expansion, and a Dusty Fungus loop expansion. And uh, they really make playing with Ultra Loop uh, a lot of fun. So be sure to check those out. Thanks a lot.